Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Alex. I'm Araceli. And this is Streaming Dreams. Bienvenidos. So we just left Coulter Bay, heading to Yellowstone National Park. Uh, we used the south entrance and upon arrival at the gate, uh, we realized that we could probably save quite a bit of money if we just decided to get a National Park's annual pass. Yes, like a whole lot of money. Absolutely. I think it was what, like 17 or roughly 20 something dollars, I think, when we originally went to the Grand Tetons. Uh, but luckily, they credited us uh, for the annual National Park's pass. Yeah, I think we paid 60 something dollars for our entrance to the Tetons for all four of us. I think that's what it was. I think roughly. And um, then we just paid a difference to have the National Park Pass to get into all the national parks for the year. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a great deal. I'm super excited that we have one because I've always wanted a National Park Pass. Yes. Um, but we never had the time to visit them. So we're really looking forward to taking advantage of that. And taking the time to seize that opportunity. Yes. We drove around and we went to the West Thumb Geyser Basin. Mm -hmm. So we picnic there, we literally opened the door out and out was the lake. No one else was near us. Mm -hmm. It was awesome, beautiful views. You can see the little islands. There's Dot Island mm -hmm. and there was another island. I don't remember the name, mm -hmm. but it was just perfect. It was beautiful, it was nice because we have our camper so we can just make our lunches in here mm -hmm. and enjoy the views. So after our lakeside lunch, we uh, decided we were going to head to our RV park in West Yellowstone. Uh, along the way, the speed limit, it's only 35 miles an hour. Yeah. So, you know, it definitely takes some time and then you add that with all the wildlife hotspots. Uh, we saw a countless number of bison. Uh, we saw some in herds. We saw some walking right along the road. Yeah, My awesome. son and I, we actually got out and snuck and hid behind another person's car just so we could get a cool shot really up close and, yeah. and personal if you will yes and you're not supposed to do that by the way for yeah safety, but i don't <laughs> advise it but we were safe thankfully uh but needless to say we did finally make it to set up camp yep get comfortable for the night before heading out on our day two excursion yes So day two, we decided to go to Canyon Village for the day. Mm -hmm. um, on the way there, we saw the Virginia Cascades, we saw Gibbon yeah. Falls. We tried to make it to the Museum of the Park Ranger because yeah. Alexander got his um, Junior Ranger stamp book, yeah. but it was closed due to COVID. Yeah. There was a lot of um, the museum, the informational things that were closed right now, mm -hmm. but still so many beautiful falls, so many different hikes. A lot of small hikes, uh, yeah. you know, I guess the great thing about Yellowstone, at least the Yellowstone that we experienced, uh, we weren't boondocking, so we weren't already in the park, and as my wife said, we had to drive a lot. So, mm -hmm. luckily, a lot of the falls hikes, or the geyser basin hikes, things of that nature, there's a great little parking lot, pretty crowded parking lot, but we are able to park close and then just take a small little walk. Yes, uh, we also did the geyser, uh, the artist paint pots, which mm -hmm. is again, close parking, Fairly easy though, it wasn't hard yeah. to find parking. Yeah. It was just, um, like you said, it was just packed. Mm -hmm. But we decided to do the big sites this time, yeah. like all the touristy things. So the next time we can go, we can really delve into the hiking. Kind of get off grid a little bit. Yes. So day three, we decided to tackle uh, the main thing on our agenda for the day, which was Old Faithful. Yes. Uh, and since we were taking that long drive, we said, well, we might as well see the sights on the way. Yes, and that was the road that would have been faster coming from mm. the Grand Tetons. That was closed due to the fire, but it was open all the way down to Old Faithful. Yeah. So on the way down, we saw Fairy Falls, Mystic Falls, mm. the Black Sand. Yeah. Biscuit Basin, I believe, um, and then uh, we saw Fountain Paint Pots Yeah. before making it to Old Faithful. And we must have timed it perfectly. Yes. We got there, we got to be front row, uh, and about 10 minutes later, sure enough, it erupted. Yeah, so they had the time, and I think that there's like an app that you can mm -hmm. use 
that'll show you the last eruption soon to erupt in yeah. 90 minutes or 60 minutes how, however long it is which is really cool so next if you're trying to make your way down there and you want to plan your trip and don't want to wait that long you can always do that it's not a guaranteed time it's an estimate but still an estimate is better than not knowing and within that 10 minutes i mean there were crowds of people starting to come up behind us oh, so yeah. we got there right in the nick of time yes it got super packed mm -hmm. the kids at first when it started first like spouting <laughs> our daughter was like that's it that this is it <laughs> and the next thing you know boom hundreds of feet in the air it was awesome and the eyes just opened yeah. up and it, they enjoyed it after yes. that so yes it was definitely a uh, one to see and one not to miss on the way back we were pretty much ready to get back to our, to long our day. rv it's been a, it was a long day yes we had already had school we mm -hmm. were two hours back so mm -hmm. school started i think at seven in the morning for the yeah. kids um and we tried to do their school day early before heading out so everyone was pretty tired and we almost passed up fire hole canyon drive oh glad we didn't I am so glad, yes, I agree. I'm so glad that we did not because it was beautiful. It's a short drive. It doesn't take much time to do, but the views, the little stop, the area that we got right by the water yes. with just the cliff face right along the side. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely worth it. Um, so if you're on your way out, definitely make that little detour. Mm -hmm. It's quick and I mean, you can spend as much time as you'd like there, but it was definitely worth seeing. And it's a great little rest stop too, just to kind of break up the monotony of driving. We had experienced Yellowstone for a couple days now and we decided we wanted to explore a little more of West Yellowstone. Yes. Uh, we had already done a couple quick runs to the grocery store, uh, but we wanted to kind of check out all the cool little shops and everything. And unfortunately, unfortunately, I lost one of the memory cards and a lot of this wonderful Yellowstone footage and these family memories are lost forever. <laughs> Unless someone kept the memory card for their own personal and use. And if so, I hope you're watching. Please send <laughs> but, it. <laughs> yes. So we don't have the best footage from this trip. We just have like our phone footage. But what you can see, it's still um, it's still a beautiful trip. It's still a great trip. Mm -hmm. The town of West Yellowstone was so cute, yes. so charming, <laughs> so polite. Um, we enjoyed like candy store. Um, we just like looking around the town, really. And we also um, love the RV park. Yeah, Grizzly RV Park. Uh, not only is it convenient, it's, it's literally right there in West Yellowstone. Yes. Uh, it's right around the corner from the entrance to Yellowstone. Yes. So it was really nice, really clean. Yes. Paved pads for RV people out there. Yes, it gave us a good day to like catch up in the rig. Like mm -hmm. clean it, like really clean it clean the floors, do and their laundry facilities. We travel with a portable washer, as mm -hmm. you know, but their laundry rooms were so clean. Pristine. So I <laughs> caught up on our bedding, our yes. everything, and it was just wonderful to have that day to just shop, do school. You got to do a lot with work that yeah. day because you were busy with work during that time. Had closings, yes. And um, we're able to keep this um, beautiful home of ours clean. Yeah. A funny thing about the RV park was we were looking for the doggy park and there was like bear walk. I don't know. There was a picture of a bear. It was a great sign. It was very informative. It said pet walk. Yes. Yes. There we go. Pet walk. But it was a picture <laughs> of a grizzly bear. Yeah. So unless they have grizzlies for pets that I'm unaware of. Um, yeah, we were a little hesitant. <laughs> <laughs> we were a little hesitant to take our dogs down that trail. Yes. But we did it anyways, and then as soon as we get back, people are telling us that they saw bear there. Yeah, a lot of, we didn't see any bear in Yellowstone. No, that was actually disappointing. We saw yeah. deer, mm -hmm. we saw deer. Tons we, of bison. Tons of bison, yeah. a lot of bison on the side of the road, Yeah. but no bear. Not one. So, but apparently there were a couple that had kind of made their way through the RV park. Thankfully, again, just like at Coulter Bay, we had just missed them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we had an incredible time at Yellowstone National yes. Park, uh, but we've really kind of learned in our experience up to this point that two nights, three nights, even four nights in some places, mm -hmm. just it's not enough time to really tackle on something as grand as a Yellowstone National Park. So we definitely have this back on our list. We've knocked off 
what we consider a lot of the tourist locations. And we hope next time to really kind of dive into maybe the unseen Yellowstone. Yes, more of the off the beaten path. Mm -hmm. um, things to do that way we knocked out our touristy stuff and now we can get into the actual park and the trails mm -hmm. and the hikes we hope to do more of that the next time we go up there thank you guys for watching stay tuned for next week as we stop through Asheville on our way to the Smoky Mountains oh yeah make sure to follow us on Instagram yes at stream and dreams and hit that subscribe and that like yeah I think I pointed the right way we'll see <laughs> thank you guys, Thanks, guys.